Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly update. This is for the week of April 8th. So we've got this week and next week left for the class. Um, we'll go over a, a couple final things that are due for the class and I'll give you an update as to last week uh, with your final exams. So the final exams have been graded and finalized. Um, I went through and finished those yesterday. So do take time to go through, review your exams. If you have any questions about anything that you missed, please feel free to contact me. I'm more than happy to discuss those with you. Um, like I said, I do want to go over a couple assignments that are left. So at this point, we're done with the content for the class. Um, and we'll scroll over and look at the syllabus quickly. Um, but we are done with the content for the class. Uh, there are no more case studies, assignments, quizzes due for the class. But what I want to bring your attention to is that we do have two final assignments left. Um, so during this week, there are no modules due. Um, but what I would like for you to do is work on your final paper um, that is due this coming Sunday. So put the finishing touches on it um, and have that submitted to the Dropbox by Sunday, April 14th. And then your last assignment for the class will be next week, the week of uh, April 15th, and that will be our guest speaker. Um, so I do bring somebody uh, that is currently working in healthcare accounting and finance in that realm and in that environment to come in to speak regarding um, what's going on uh, in, the, in the real world healthcare accounting and finance. Um, and to kind of give us an update and to help explain how everything that we've been talking about correlates with what's going on out in healthcare right now. Um, you can see the criteria listed here on the course uh, outline. It's also in your course syllabus. If you go back to the table of contents, uh, the guest speaker graciously came in early and recorded uh, her guest lecture for us. So if you'll go down to guest speaker presentation summary, you can see that video listed here, um, current state of healthcare. Um, you again can see the criteria and then the Dropbox to where you can submit that assignment. Um, so do make sure to read over the criteria, watch the video, uh, and get that submission in. Again, that one is due by April 21st um, at 11.59. And so those are your last two assignments for the class, your final paper, and your guest lecture summary. Now the last thing that I would like to cover um, and, and I want to bring your attention to is this last post that I made to the news feed um, back on the 6th, which is the student assessment of instruction. So these are your course evaluations um, that go out every semester, and these went out on Friday, uh, this past Friday, the 4th or uh, 5th, excuse me, um, and they are going to remain open through April 27th. Um, so that is just uh, about 17 days away, I believe. Um, and I want to show you what those look like from the instructor in, because I know there are some myths out there on what the instructors can see. Um, so I want to kind of put those myths to rest. So let me bring this over. Um, you can see I have three classes that I'm instructing this semester, so you'll see all three populated here. Um, it is a myth that we can see who is submitting what survey and what is being written. Um, the surveys for one are completely anonymous. Uh, so I have no idea what, who is writing what about the class. Um, and we as instructors do not get access to the survey feedback until two weeks after the end of the semester. Um, so, so they are completely anonymous, uh, but I do take you know, these very seriously. Um, I want to know your feedback on the class. I want to know where I can improve, um, as well as your other instructors. So I do really encourage you to go on and complete the survey. Um, let me know what you thought of the class. You know, give, give constructive feedback on areas to improve um, so that I, as I go through and revise the course, I know where to make the adjustments for the future. Um, hopefully, if you've had any major concerns, you've been able to contact me over the course of the semester. Um, but again, you know, please take the time to, to complete your SAIs. Uh, let me know what you think about the course and, and where it can improve. And I'll show you um, 
you know, even these buttons that say report unavailable, even if I were to click on them, what I see is what you will see when you go to take the um, survey. So I can't see any results. I can't click anywhere else. All I see is what my response rate is. So you can see for this class there were six students enrolled. Um, and as of right now, we're sitting at 0%. So hopefully that's going to change towards the end of this week. Um, but if you have any questions about your SAIs, uh, please let me know. You can check your at etsu.edu account for the link. Um, you can also go and Google ETSU SAI, and it should return back as the first link. If you were to click that link and click this link here, it'll keep me logged in. Um, but it'll take you to the SAI, so you would log in with your D2L or your ETSU credentials and complete the survey. Um, all that's really I uh, that's really all that I have for the weekly update this week. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if not, we'll see you back next week for our final weekly update.